Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, today is going to be a quick video. What I'm doing today, um, I am going to disconnect my regulator for my uh, uh, Argon CO2 tank because this welder is gone. I sold this welder and um, I'm just going to stick with my Yes welder. I don't need two welders. One welder will do fine for me. And the reason I'm use I'm gonna keep the S welder is because of its multiple functionality, and it does as good a, a job as this Mig Max 140 from Vulcan. Now, what am I gonna do with that splitter? Because what's happening here, the argon is actually going to both of the welders, uh, the shielding gas and whatnot. But, you ready for this? Ta-da! I got two tanks. One is 7525 argon, one is 100% argon. So it's for TIG welding, MIG welding. And I'm gonna use that splitter to basically hook up these two tanks going into the Yes welder. So I'm gonna have two different types of gases going into the Yes welder for multiple applications. Um, now this might be unorthodox in many cases, but you know, in this case, you know, since this welding card is mostly stationary, um, I'm gonna basically put these two tanks where those where that platform is hopefully it could handle the weight it should handle the weight um, but what's happening is if you can see this wheel it's tilted really really bad and once in, once upon a time when i move this cord i see a lot of ball bearings coming off so leads me to believe that this wheel can't handle the weight as much so at some point i am going to flip this cart around and change that wheel but it's not going to be today so i'm going to take the vulcan out of its uh that slot area i'm gonna bring the yes welder back basically kind of position it in that in that area hook up the tanks and i'm going to show you guys what the uh process looks like so stay tuned All right guys, so the tanks are in place, as you can see. I chained them up. Um, they both don't really fit on there that good, but it is what it is. I'm not gonna stress it. I might put another chain around it here just to keep it, you know, if, if I end up moving it, I just wanna make sure the tanks don't fall. But, so let's look at the numbers. So if you can see right here, I don't know if I could get this focused or not. Probably won't focus, there we go. Actually, it's not there, let's see. There we go. This is UN1956, this is the 7525 mix. And this one is, let's see if I could get that. Uh, UN1006, this is 100% argon. So, um, I lose focus here, there we go. So now I have these two regulators. This is from the old one, this is a new one I got. So I'm gonna put the regulators on, then I'm gonna connect the lines, and hopefully it won't leak, but pretty much that's it. That's all you need to do until I start using it.
All right, guys, so the setup is completed. Now, the small change here, uh, I'm no longer going to use this because I figured out that for the TIG welding, uh, the gun itself has a hose that goes directly to the 100% uh, argon tank. So, this is the setup. I got two gauges. This one goes directly into the welder right in the back. As you can see, it says MIG gas and this is the TIG gas hooked up to the to the TIG gun itself. So I'm actually want I want to try uh, welding with TIG. What actually just you know I've never done TIG welding, so this is gonna be actually the first time I'm gonna do it. Uh, so I'm uh, anxious to see how it's gonna work if I have the gas set up correctly and all that stuff. Um, and as I said, guys, when you guys set these up, when you done using, make sure you turn off the gas from the cylinder itself because these joints cannot really be trusted they can be leaking and all that stuff or it could be leaking from the bottom right there and i have my son here organizing my <laughs> my spell i actually dropped my box on the floor and everything spelled out and what are you doing i was just trying to play in spot oh he wants to play in spot but he's stuck here helping me so as soon as he's done, he's gonna go outside and spot planes. Yes. But, um, I am going to set the rig up for TIG welding because there's few things you gotta do with yes welding when you do TIG welding. Um, the, um, so the gun itself goes into here, which is a negative. Then I have to change the polarity inside from positive to negative, because when you do MIG welding, um, if I'm if using a, a solid wire, you need to be on the positive side. And here, let me show you on the, here we go. So MIG welding, the polarity is on positive, but when you do, um, TIG welding, the polarity is on the negative. And here it shows you where you plug in your um, your ground, negative and positive stuff. So, so I'm gonna set up this like, like so, and change the polarity inside the unit, and come back and have a piece of metal see if I could uh, TIG weld. So stay tuned. All right, guys, I'm gonna change the polarity, but the first thing you wanna do is you wanna turn, you wanna unplug the unit from the power source so you don't, you know, risk getting shocked. And you wanna actually open this up so you can get the screwdriver. You do that. You unscrew these two, you unscrew this one just a little bit so you could actually put this in and pretty much that's it it's pretty simple and then um, Put this back in here. And you put the last screw in. And this one you can hand tie. You don't have to tighten it down with the screwdriver. All right, guys. So uh, I attempted to do some TIG welding. Uh, epic fail because this is my first time ever TIG welding. So I don't know what the hell I'm doing. So I will have to practice a little bit more. And you can see, if you can see that, that's a pile I made. And look what I did to my tungsten tip. Burn the crap out of it. So. So if I could get that focused, yep. So I burned it, it's okay. I'm gonna grind it off, try it again. 
practice makes perfect. But um, gas is flowing, as you can see. Gas flowing. These are set up correctly. Everything works great. Um, uh, that's the connection. This is the uh, gas hose that goes directly into the argon tank. So this is the setup for the MP200. Most setups are the same way. I was trying to have this, have both hoses go into this and uh, have a connect from the TIG. Uh, I'm sorry, the MIG connection. Then I realized TIG and MIG obviously they function differently so the TIG has its own hose directly into the argon tank 100% argon and the MIG one goes directly in the back of the unit so uh, I don't know tell me what you think guys uh, I, I really like this setup I mean it, it looks good the setup is pretty good here's my uh, uh, welding cart um, so the tanks fit very well uh almost like i made it just to have two tanks on this thing so i lucked out on these tanks these tanks are very expensive uh, uh if you search around you can actually find these tanks for a decent amount of price you know so i got both of these for 250 uh so which wasn't bad i actually lucked out um but you know if you are getting into welding uh mig welding it's a lot easier than tig welding tig welding will require a lot of practice which i will be doing so leave your comments down below if you have any tips on how to tig weld correctly how far the tungsten tin needs to be outside and all that stuff please leave it in the comments and let me know what you think so uh, until then please don't forget to hit subscribe and hit the like button peace out